Number 1 Del Mar In adding this new stunner to their local restaurant empire, husband and wife team Maria and Fabio Trabocchi have expended beyond the Italian cuisine for which they're famous and into the realm of Spanish tapas, it's not a stretch, Fabio is from Italy's La Marche region, but Maria is from Mallorca. Number 2 Le Diplomate At Le Diplomate, it's as if someone picked up a Parisian bistro and dropped it in the middle of D. C. It's 2014 Street, shiny red booth, green subway tile, a show-stopping zinc bar, and all. Philly restaurateur Steven Starr's audacious French brasserie is still a hot ticket more than five years in, particularly the lingerie space and the charming sidewalk tables. Number 3 Bad Saint Bad Saint, a no-reservations hot spot in Columbia Heights that always draws a line, is tiny, with only 24 seats crammed into every last millimeter of available square footage. Here, Chef Tom Kananen keeps the menu, creative interpretations of the Filipino dishes he grew up eating, succinct, but you'll want to try as many dishes as you can. Number 4 The Oval Room If you want to spot a congressperson, or a lobbyist, in the wild, this refined dining room is a good bet. The fine dining restaurant, located near the White House, has been around for more than 20 years, and restaurateur Ashok Bajaj has built it up as a major power player spot. Number 5 Miseria, even the wooden fence outside Miseria looks stylish. Walk beyond it though, and you'll see an outdoor lounge with fire pits and pattern tiles the color of the Mediterranean. Chef Nicholas Stefanelli, who worked with Fabio Trabocchi, a field mayor in Del Mar, at Maestro back in the day, has created a modern Pugliese menu that includes everything from pasta to seafood to burrata. Number 6 Maidan A gigantic fire pit is the first thing you'll spot at Maidan in the U Street area, and it's fitting because so many items are cooked over this open flame. The menu mixes North African and Mediterranean flavors, and the cocktails and wines, similarly sourced, complement them well. Number 7 The Dabney Blagden Alley is a hugely buzzy dining destination, thanks in part to chef Jeremiah Langhorn's acclaimed The Dabney. Langhorn, who worked for Sean Brock at McCready's in Charleston, S. C., for five years, sources ingredients from the Chesapeake Bay and the Mid-Atlantic area, then cooks them over live fire on the hearth. Number 8 Minibar by Jose Andres the two Michelin-starred minibar in the Penn Quarter is the most unique, delicious, and wallet-busting science course you'll ever take. The goal of Chef Jose Andres' molecular gastronomy-influenced progressive tasting menu is to challenge the taste buds, read, blow your mind, with more than 20 inventive dishes, including, in the past, basil foam and balsamic vinegar caviar with edible parmesan spoons. Number 9 7 Reasons The menu at 7 Reasons changes often to keep up with Chef Enrique Lamardo's whirling imagination. The Venezuela-born chef made a big splash in Baltimore before decamping to 14th Street in 2019. Here, Wagyu Carpaccio looks otherworldly, butternut mingles with cacao and caviar in a gem of a tart, and the coconut delirious dessert layers coconut custard and ice cream to evoke a shoreline. Number 10 Hanuman H. Mother and son chef duo Sang Luangrath and Bobby Pradas garnered acclaim for their lash and cooking at Columbia Heights Teep Cow, and now they're letting loose at Hanuman H, a fun Sean newcomer that experiments with tradition. Two must order starters an Outback inspired blooming mushroom and a thinly sliced banana blossom salad. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.